family and friends welcome back to another skincare saturday okay so i went and had coffee with one of my best friends today and she was telling me about um her skin and how she feels a certain way about this blah 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 well then we got on the topic of her skincare and I was telling her like look when you have the extra cash let me know we'll go to Ulta amongst other places and then she told me what she's using as a daily moisturizer and at first I was kind of like mm. wait now I'm not saying what I use will work for everyone. That is, by all means, please do not take that as my word is the end all be all. Sorry, I haven't had a chance to do my actual skincare yet because I'm like trying to go through this video and I don't wanna do my skincare before this video because then it's gonna be like, well, so, she was telling me how her moisturizer has coconut oil in it. Okay. I love coconut oil. I will be the first to say this. I love coconut oil. I love it for cooking. I love it to use it as a moisturizer on my body. I love it for removing makeup. And I love it for my hair. It makes a great hair mask. But you know what I don't love it for? moisturizing my face and I understand her oil might have other things in it besides just or her moisturizer because it's a solid like well not a solid but it's a cream so I understand it might just have like a little bit of coconut oil amongst other things and she's like me she's very very big on being cruelty free okay so I'm sitting here editing and I reached out to her and I said, what moisturizer are you using? And I'm not gonna name the brand because I know the brand and I do, I actually really like the brand. I own quite a few things from this brand, but it is a 100% coconut oil daily glow moisturizer. And it has coconut milk in it as well. So, that being said, I had to go look at the ingredients, y'all. It has coconut oil, glycerin, um, one, two, three, three types of alcohol, uh, shea butter, olive oil, sunflower seed oil, aloe leaf, cocoa butter, lavender extract, green tea extract, believe it or not, and nowhere in here does it say coconut milk. So her and I are going to have a really long talk because when you're putting moisturizer on, I will say the first ingredient in here is water and I do like that. But when you're putting a moisturizer on, it shouldn't have alcohol in it. So her and I are going to have talk because I feel like this is possibly doing more damage to her skin than it is good. So I was trying to explain to her why I personally wouldn't use that every day, especially in New Orleans heat. So in the summer, especially in New Orleans, it's very humid. Not only is it hot, it's humid. So it will be like 80 degrees but it'll feel like 90 because of the, hu the humidity is just you walk outside and you can barely breathe. I'm not even, not even kidding. 
and you start sweating immediately. So when you walk out in the heat and you are sweating, you open your pores. Now, from everything I've read, from everything I've watched on YouTube, and from everything I hear, coconut oil is one of the worst things to use as a moisturizer for your face, and here's why. The coconut oil molecules are big enough to get into your pores, or they're small enough to get into your pores. And they can clog your pores, which can cause breakouts. It can cause like giant pimples, blackheads, whiteheads, everything, just everything under the sun. So I will say this. I'm not a hypocrite because I love coconut oil. Okay, so I talked to her. I feel like I just need to keep you updated at this point. So after I filmed the last insert, I text her and I was like, hey, say dude, I need to know if you're using this or not. And she's not. She's using a different one. Hold please. Still editing in the background. So I asked her if she was using that particular one. And she said, no, I'm using this one and sent me a picture of it. So I went and I did some research. Now the one she's using is not nearly as bad. It does have one. No, wait, hold on. No, it has the exact same ingredients. But it, <laughs> what makes me nervous is it says it has coconut milk in it and nowhere in here does it say coconut milk it does say coconut fruit juice which might translate to coconut milk i don't know all i know is i'm gonna have to see this product in person because here's why she's paying eleven dollars for three ounces yes eleven dollars for three ounces now this is a really good friend of mine and because it's a coconut oil amongst other thing blend I want to see how this is in person it says it's not greasy but I'm really feeling like this might be something she because it says face lotion. It doesn't say moisturizer, it says face lotion. So I need to do some research on why certain things have to be qualified as a lotion versus a moisturizer. I'll get back to you. But my main concern is her using coconut oil on her face morning and night with nothing else. And I do know she recently started using a alcohol toner because she's noticing like discoloration, a few breakouts, and I feel like that might be linked to this. Might be. Don't quote me on that. The breakouts, yes. The discoloration, I don't really think so. It could because it's an oil and if you're in the sun and you're not using a sunscreen, it's an oil. And you're cooking yourself. So I'll do some re more research on what qualify why something is labeled a face lotion versus a moisturizer. And I'll come back. But I wanted to update this. But here's what I use coconut oil for. I use the Pacifica Coconut Dissolve Cleansing Oil Rehab. And as you can see, I am almost out. I use this as the first step of my nightly skincare routine. Every night I start with this. I do a double cleanse. So I go in with this. I rub my face nice and gently and I get all my makeup off. And then I go in with a gel cleanser and I explain this to her. I'm like, I always do a double cleanse. I go in with a coconut oil base. There's other things besides coconut oil. Um, 
sunflower oil, safflower, safflower, whatever. There's other things besides just coconut. And then I go in with a gel cleanser because I don't want that oil trapped in my pores. And then I go in with a gel cleanser, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So we, she was like, oh, okay, blah, blah, blah. Now I know the moisturizer she's using, it's not bad. It's not, it's great. But like I told her, I, said, I would use that during the winter. In all seriousness, I really would. Because while it's great for hydrating your skin and really locking in that moisture, during the summer, it's a little too heavy. Unless you're using it as your night cream. I would not use that as my day cream. I just, no. Too heavy. Now, that being said, that brings me to today's video. And that is oils for your skin. And I have a bunch of different examples in front of me. So let's talk about the least, the one thing you would not expect me to bring up in a skincare, how to properly use oils and oils you don't want to use video. All right, at this point, I feel like this video has just gone in a totally different direction. But it being the fact that I was talking about my friend, I do want to make things known. And if it looks like my face is changing colors, it's because the backlight of my computer keeps changing. But there are two reasons. Oh my, Max, that's enough. As to why things are labeled a moisturizer versus a lotion. Lotions are higher in water content, so it's easier for bacteria to form, thus alcohols, parabens, salicylic acid, um, and then they also add fragrance to hide these smells of alcohols. Now that's for a lotion. Moisturizers are usually a mixture of oil and water soluble components. Now, moisturizers are heavier and they're more protective. They have more protective qualities. And a lotion absorbs into the skin quicker and there is usually oil in here to protect the skin's moisture barrier. Now, here's the main thing. Going out on a hot day, water-like textures are best for humid areas, so not to clog the pores. And to prevent your makeup from slipping and sliding in the heat. Okay, that's all fine and dandy, but when you're using something that is 100% virgin coconut oil, it's kind of defeating the process. So, something to think about. That is the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick. Or, the Jeffree Star Velour Lip Scrub. Now... I'm trying to see which oil it is. There it is. Okay. I love lip scrubs. I do. And Jeffree Star makes the best on this planet. This one is in the scent Peach Popsicle. It, it smells amazing. It really does. It smells like peaches. Kind of tastes like them too. Not going to lie. Kind of tastes like them too. So... And they're adorable. They're just, and you get a lot of product in here. Okay, anyway. So I'm going to show it to you. When you look at it, because it's so densely packed and nothing's dripping out, you wouldn't think there's oil in here. And this is why when I wash my face, I do this. Rinse it. I do this. Because I wear a lot of like little whip lipsticks. We all know this. And then I go in with a cleanser because to keep that sugar from melting down, guess, guess what it sits in? Oil. Now this uses a grapeseed oil. 
and you don't want to clog the pores around here. Trust me, I did it because I left. I literally slept in that overnight and I clogged my pores. Don't judge me, okay? I really wanted very moisturized, soft, exfoliated lips in the morning. So I clogged the pore and I got a pimple and y'all saw it for like five days. It just would not go away. And then I viciously assaulted it and I made it worse. By the way, don't be like me. Don't pop your pimples. So that being said, oil clogs your pores, which is why you don't want to use mineral oil or coconut oil to actually moisturize your face for cleaning purposes. It's great. Just please don't use it as moisturizer. Now let's talk about something you would not expect to have oil in it, okay? A setting spray. Now this is by Pixie. This is the Pixie Skin Treats. This is the Glow Mist. I love this. Um, I actually have been using this as a setting spray. And then at the very end of my nightly skincare routine, just to kind of seal everything in and kind of make me go, I love this. I'm in love with this. But this has olive oil, avocado oil, sapphire, saf, sap, saf flower seed oil, jo 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 jojoba seed oil, rose oil, macadamia oil. Okay, you get the point. There's a lot of oils in here but there's no coconut oil. I wonder why. Stop using coconut oil in your skincare, people. Unless you're using it as a pre-cleanse. Just saying. All right. Because these oils, in combination, are not going to break out your face. They might. Don't quote me on that. But if their molecules aren't to the point where they're going to get into your skin and clog your pores. I've literally been using this for two to three weeks. I have not had a single breakout. And I've been using it every single day. Religiously. Now. Let's talk about this. This is the Summer Rose Body Oil. So, in here, it doesn't even tell you. That's the concerning part. But, as you can see, it has pretty little rose petals. It smells like rose. You see oil, and then you see rose, and you're like, oh, this can be used on my face. No. If something says body oil, do not put it on your face. And here's why. Here is why. The ingredients that go into body care. There's a difference in body care and skin care. The ingredients that go into body care are not always the same ingredients you would see in skincare because your skin is more sensitive. Your skin has pores that are easier to dig into and create home when harbor bacteria and all of that. You don't want all that. You don't want all that. So don't use a body oil on your face, please. Now, I have four oils left. First one is the Unicorn Essence. So, while this doesn't have the actual ingredients list on it, it does have small traces of oil. Just a very small trace. I don't know which oil. There is definitely an oil in here. And here's how I know. Most serums, after rubbing right about now, I would, uh, I'd be getting some friction. Just now started to get friction. Oh god, it smells so good. Okay. There is some oil in it. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's very hydrating. But just make sure you're reading ingredients. Okay? I love this for my makeup, by the way. It's amazing. Next, we have Tarte Maracuja Oil. All right, so I use this for my hair, I use this for my face, I use this for my cuticles, I use this for everything under the sun. While everyone is all hyped up about coconut oil, I'm hyped up about the maracuja oil. I will use it at the very end of my skincare. 
I will use it to lock in a hand moisturizer. I will use it for the tips of my hair. It is a very soothing, non-irritating, not overly greasy oil that just has overall benefits. Now, this is a new one to me. Um, I've used it a few times and I'm kind of confused by it. I'm not even going to lie. This is the Red Earth, and I actually have the thing in front of me that explains it too. This is the Red Earth Brighten Concentrate Oil. This is a Aussie brand that infuses powerful native ingredients into their proprietary skin brightening and soothing elixirs. The highly concentrated oil is packed with vitamin C rich plum, macadamia oil, and coconut oil. Now, you're supposed to store this at room temperature and just put it on your face. I've used this one time and I'm not even gonna lie to you, I didn't like it. I used it when I wasn't doing anything around the house. I washed my face, I put on a gel moisturizer, and I was like, wow, I feel like I just need a little extra oomph. So I put this on, and I wasn't a fan because my face was greasy all day long. Coconut oil does that, guys. It leaves this greasy film on your face. Now I know why I didn't like it. All right, last but not least, we have the Pacifica, hold on. Okay, so this is the Pacifica Crystal Lit Moon Oil with Lavender, Quartz, and Blue Tansy. This is an amazing face oil. I'm not even going to lie. Ooh, and it's drugstore. Alright, so this has lavender oil, argan oil, sunflower oil, uh, vitamin E, blue tansy oil, hemp seed oil, quartz powder like this is this is just a great nighttime oil now how I do it is I go through I do my normal skincare and then at the very end I use two drops and I put it on in fact we'll go ahead and do it real quick if I can find the moisturizer I want to use So what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and take a pump of my retinol. And I like, I really like this retinol because it is, it's very moisturizing, but it gets the job done and it is also sensitive enough to use on your eyes. Keep in mind, with your skincare, always bring it down. Always bring it down, guys. Because even if your face doesn't look like it's aging, your neck will. So we are, so we are tatas, just saying. Okay. So, I have my retinol on. Now, what I do, I go in. I like to make sure it's good and mixed because it will separate because there's oils and shimmers and all that good stuff. I will literally take, I'm trying to, hold on. I will take that much. It's not a lot. Rub it between my hands and then press it in to my skin. Okay, and that's it. That's all I do. 
using an oil is that simple, guys. It really is that simple, okay? Not to mention this gives me like a nice glowy effect. But yeah, so I would usually wait about an hour before I go lay in bed with this. That way it does start to sink into my skin and I don't get oil all over my pillow. But oil, if I haven't said it, I'm gonna say it. If I have said it, I'm saying it again. Oil is always the very last thing you do in your skincare. Unless, see Janet tricked me. Unless you are doing a cleanse, in which case oil is the first step in your skincare. But oil is, the molecules of oil are not small enough to penetrate deep, 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 deep down into your skin. So at the end of the day, you do need to make sure you are still using a moisturizer. Like I just used the retinol. The oil is just going to basically barricade all of that in so that it doesn't get out and it starts working because this is heavier than a cream. It is. The molecules in oil are larger than the molecules in a face cream. That is why you always step, start with the thinnest to thickest. So you start with your essence, then your toner, then your serums, um, then your moisturizers. Oh, see, I like to do my treatments before my moisturizers, but that way I know where to avoid, but that's just me. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was informative and I will see you guys next time. Make sure you're subscribed and you hit the notification bell. Bye.